Hello, welcome back to the second masterclass in View to You. Happy Easter, everyone. Today we're going to make hot cross buns. So, in your kit, you need some dried fruit, flour, mixed sugar, piping bag, all the sort of staples you need. And you also need some butter, orange juice, fresh milk. This is a musket, a fortified wine from Victoria, but you can use your favorite rum or your favorite fortified wine. Egg, some fresh orange. And for the equipment, again, you'll need a mixer stove, scale, mixing bowl and a few other gadgets. So that's it, let's get started. Alright, so this first step is actually needs to be done the night before, or at least eight hours or so before. We're going to soak our dried fruit. So here we have the some dried currants, golden raisins, normal raisins, sultanas, our orange juice, and also our musket. Just leave this in the fridge or um, in a container and we'll come back to it tomorrow. This next technique is called a water roux. It's often used in Japanese bread, like milk bread, to make it super soft and sort of squishy in a good way, um, which I really like in hot cross buns. So basically, it's kind of like making a roux if you're making a bechamel, but instead of fat and flour, you have, or fat and starch, you're doing it with water. So just in cold, flour, water we're going to whisk it in just so it's mixed there's no lumps dry clumps and then we'll turn it on we're going to cook it out over about a medium heat for about five minutes Okay, so our water is ready. It's been cooked out, we're just gonna add our milk. Brown sugar. And butter. Just on a really low heat, just whisk it so no lumps. Butter's melted, and then we're going to add our egg, whisk that in, and then our yeast. So our roux cooked out, we've added the, the milk, the butter, the sugar, that's all mixed in, it's melted. So now we're off the heat, just going to add a, an egg, whole egg, whisk that in. Then we can add our, our yeast. Give it another whisk. Next we're gonna zest our orange and our microplane, or a zester. So to get all the zest off, it's actually easier, instead of going like this, to go upwards. You just go all around the, the orange. Okay, so we're all zested. Just with the spoon, just push it all into our milk mix. And whisk that in. Okay, so we're ready to make our dough. So we have our soaked fruit from yesterday, our water brew milk yeast mix, and our flour mix. This has flour, spices we want, and salt. Just add that all first. The mixer. And then we're just gonna turn add a little bit of this at the start. And start on a low speed. Once it starts to mix in a little bit more, we're gonna add the rest of this. Good. 
and it's going to need for about 12 minutes on a, on a low medium speed. So our dose needed, it's ready. So you can see it's kind of this really smooth, sticky consistency. That's what we're looking for. So this stage, again on a slow heat, we're gonna add all our fruit. Just need that to it's just evenly mixed in, and that's it, and then we'll leave the fruit. So dough's good, fruit's mixed in, so now just in our oiled bowl, we're just gonna put it in, make it a nice ball. I'm gonna leave this until it basically doubles in size. Depending on what room you're in and how hot it is, it could take an hour to three hours. Um, yeah, it's pretty warm here today, so it shouldn't take more than an hour. Okay, so our dough's ready. So now we need to knock out all the air that we put into it. A little flour on the bench. Singing Johnny. But yeah, we're just gonna roll this out. So a little flour. Now we're going to portion our balls. So we want 80 grams per, per bun. So we have our, all our portions weighed out. Sort of 80, 85 grams each. And next we're gonna roll our little balls. So just, just gonna sort of pull it into each other. Pull the dough, sort of tucking it in on the bottom of each thing. And then just with your hands, a little bit of flour on the bench, not too much. A nice little, little ball. Just repeat that process. So the whole tray's done. And then once we have all our portions rolled, we need to let it proof again for about another 30, 40 minutes. Same sort of concept, let the fermentation happen. So our buns are proofing, so next we need to make the first part of the cross, which is just really simple, just flour and water, equal parts. So water, 
now flash it around and then just whisk it in just until you have a paste with no lumps. Buns are proofed and we need to put our cross on. So this is just the, the slurry, the flour and water slurry. I'm just going to start this direction. Let me come back and do the other side. So crosses are on, we need to cook them now, so 180 degrees in a preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Halfway through the cooking we're going to turn it, turn the tray. Alrighty, so it's been about 25 minutes and our buns are ready. Nice colour, cooked inside. Buns are ready, they look good. We're going to now glaze them up. So this is a strawberry jam we have, just add a little bit of water to make it slightly more syrupy and then we're just going to brush it on top of the hot buns a few times, be quite generous, it's going to soak into the bun, make it nice and moist as well.